Tattoos, yes, they can be a great way to express yourself, but there may be some risks that you don't know about. 32% of adults have at least one tattoo, but now some new research shows the ink can alter immune cells and weaken some vaccine responses. I'm joined by Dr. Yvette Ramsey, Chief of Dermatology at Kaiser Permanente Baldwin Park, here to talk about the study and the risks associated with tattoo ink. Good morning to you. And this this is alarming because I just said so. I mean, we all know someone with at least one tattoo, it seems. Absolutely. A third of U.S. adults yeah. have tattoos, so it's very common. So talk about then um, how does the ink affect the body? And then we'll get into the research behind it. Well, when you think about it, as soon as someone has a tattoo, there are thousands of tiny little pokes of ink directly into the dermis, which is the lower level of the skin the body immediately mounts an immune response. So the body sends cells there. Some cells actually act like a little Pac-Man and carry some of that pink ink pigment back to the lymph nodes. Hmm. And so there's an immune response immediately to that tattoo pigment and the injury to the skin. Automatically. So then talk about the research then um, and the impact that the tattoo ink is having on vaccines. And this was new research. Very new research. Um, done, the studies were done in mice, so I do want to distinguish that. Mm -hmm. So we can't extrapolate that entirely to human beings yet, and a mm -hmm. lot more research needs to be done. But the studies showed that with the COVID vaccine, which is an mRNA vaccine, the patient or the mice had a decreased immune response to the COVID vaccine. Conversely, to the uh, flu vaccine, which is an inactivated vaccine, the mice had an increased response to mm. the vaccine, so they actually developed more immunity from that vaccine. Very interesting study, but very preliminary. Right. And um, we can't really say that we can translate that to humans quite yet. We need more research. But it looks like even the vaccines would have a different effect yes. depending on the tattoo ink. Talk about the potential then public health impact of an altered immune response. Well, there's inflammation, there's local inflammation. We see that all the time. And there's, of course, sometimes people develop pigment uh, allergies. So you could develop an allergy to the tattoo, primarily to red ink. Hmm. Um, in terms and of- And why red? Uh, there's something in the red pigment that is more immune responsive hmm. in, in human beings. That your so, body yes. is rejecting yes. or goes after. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Um, and talk about some of the other health risks then that come with um, getting tattoos. And, you know, there's a there's quite a list of everything from list. even MRIs. Yes. Cancer yeah. screening. Exactly. Well, first of all, if you tattoo over a mole, it makes it very diff difficult to see if that mole is changing and turning into cancer. Right. Also, we talked about how the cells take the pigment back to the lymph nodes, and that pigment stays in the lymph nodes, so it makes it very difficult to tell for a surgeon, for example, who's doing like a lymph node biopsy, mm -hmm. if this pigment is tattoo, or if it's actually, for example, metastatic melanoma, which can be right. life-threatening. Right. Well, doctor, thank you so much. And it's not someone can't just go get rid of their tattoo tomorrow, but just something to be aware of. And Absolutely. so knowledge is power. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, come back anytime. Thank it's, you. It's wonderful Pleasure. to have your insight.